getting through to the blind auditions is short-lived as the contestants battle it out with each other to book their slots in the live finals on The Voice of Ireland this Sunday at 6.30. But now, Shortland Street. All the sick patients in triage know that you're running around wasting time on some lowlight. He obviously sounds like a crumb. I mean, if he doesn't want to be here, let him go. Get back. OK, OK, we're going. Come on. All we want to do is make sure you get treated. There won't be any cops. No! <laughs> Let her go. Back off. Mate, we just want to help you. Your leg's cut bad, you need to get it looked at. And when's the last time you had your insulin? Oh, shut up! I'm not going back to jail. No way. It just about killed me. OK. So you had a hard time in prison, I understand. No, you don't. You have no idea what it's like. I'm totally screwed. No. <laughs> get back! Mate. You keep waving that around, you'll hurt someone for sure and end up back in jail. You do a runner, you'll just get sicker. Let us help you. You give me that needle, I'll get rid of it, and we'll get you seen too, OK? Good on you. Pretty swish. If we're asking people to fly around the world, then pay for surgery, it can't look cheap. Hmm, I suppose not. Uh, if people want advice on flights, what are we going to tell them? I have penciled in a meeting with the travel agent to discuss that, so if we could synchronise our diaries... Mm -hmm. <sighs> Harry. He is constantly trying to wind me up. Now he has pinched my phone. Mm. Hunter used to do that, always fossicking in my desk. How did you stop him? Mouse traps. Wendy thinks I should deal with him like I deal with the staff. Earn his respect. Certainly worked around here. The staff don't steal my phone or replace my perfume with toilet cleaner or crash my car. What? Only on the side of the road. No injuries. Apart from my car and the car he crashed into. If it's any consolation, the first 20 years are the worst. Well, you must have done something right. Hunter was a 10-year-old boy once and he turned out pretty well. Yeah. Well, if you want some tips gained from hard experience, we could always have coffee. Why not lunch? Or even dinner? Some more intimate. Take real advantage of Chris's absence. Rachel, I didn't mean anything. I'll get back to you when I sort the diary. Guess what? Did they get Luke? No, no, thank goodness. Great. What is it? Well, first ask how much discount I got. How much discount did you get? Over 60% is how much discount I got. Chelsea Bling. Great. That's terrific. What is... what does Chelsea Bling do again? Oh, it's makeup, you big lug. The best makeup ever. Here, wait. Let me sell it to you. Okay, girls. You and I both know how to catch that man. And no. It's not through his stomach. It's that special, fleeting moment when... When... Ah. It's that special, fleeting moment when you first make eye contact. Time slows down and Mr. Wright drinks in your beautiful eyes and especially those gorgeous, kissable lips. And that's where Chelsea Bling will provide the most luxuriant makeup in the world. So, what do you think? You're going to direct market makeup? Yeah, well, Ashley from makeup school, she sells Chelsea Bling for only six months, and in the other six months, she's at Cancun or Ibiza or some other party island, and she's going to induct me and change my life forever. So making your loan repayments will be nothing. Well, how much did you spend? Normal price is $1,200, but... How much? Only $3.99. And it's like all of your savings? A, a little bit more. What? You said that you've been saving like a mad thing. Yeah, but I only just started, so I had to take out one of those uh, overdraft things. But the point is, we're going to make money in our spare time. You really think you can sell it? Didn't you just see me then? Yes, I did. And you were great. 
So if there is any way that a one-armed man could help? Yeah, well, you could make the cold calls set up interest in meetings. Hi, I'm Brody Kemp from Chelsea Bling Products, and today's your lucky day. <laughs> you look thoughtful. Work problem? Hmm. Hope you're not overdoing it. Oh, I don't think so. Are you taking proper breaks? As we speak. And how are you sleeping? On my own. I really shouldn't have said that. That's OK. I'm sure it's not going to stay that way. <laughs> but it must be difficult. Sorry, shutting up now. No, 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 go on. No, it was inappropriate. No, I don't think so. It must be difficult working so closely with Rachel. I haven't always managed to keep things professional. Well, that's understandable. Yeah. It's about time I got over myself, though. Can I suggest something? Please. Quiz night tonight at the pub. I'm putting a team together. A few drinks, some laughs. Oh, come on. It'll be fun. OK. <laughs> <laughs> it's OK. I'll do all the talking. Rocky Ellis, this is Angela. She's another nurse like me. And this is Dr. Avia. Ah, uh, Maxwell. Good day, Rocky. We met in the park. Hunter and I were a bit concerned about his leg injury. You'd be right to be concerned. He needs seeing too. And Rocky tells me he's diabetic, type 1. He's okay. missed his medication. OK, we'll take care of that as well. Oh, and I found this. I guess someone must have dropped it. Mm, I guess so. Um, can you discard that, please? Rocky, this way, please, bud. It's fine. They just want to see you get treated, right? Absolutely. Wow, you were amazing with him. Not really. Yeah, in the park, when you talked him around, it's like you had a connection with the guy. I just said what he needed to hear. Well, that you knew what prison was like. I mean, you had him convinced right there. I saw it. Where did that come from? I need to get changed. I'll catch you later. What are you doing? Um, I need a pun. A what? A play on words for my blog about the waste at Shortland Street. I finished it. I just need a title. <laughs> Even though the expensive infusion pumps could be repaired by a local expert, hospital bigwigs won't allow this common sense solution because it's against hospital policy. Mm. I'm a local expert. Nice. Keep going. As far as this writer can tell, the only people who benefit from such ridiculous policies are the manufacturers of red tape. Oh, sharp. What's the truth, though, isn't it? Hey, you've nailed it. Oh, that's all I'm concerned about. Now that title... Well, how about hospital pumps money down drain? That's brilliant. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Look, your dad's not going to come out of this very well. Are you OK with that? Look, it's the truth, and he'll just have to deal with it. Anyway, it's an anonymous blog. He'll never know I wrote it. Mm, then go for it. Hospital pumps money down drain. Posted. Done. Mm, that's my girl. <laughs> Chelsea Bling is a revolutionary concept in quality cosmetics. Check it out. 490 hits. And look at the comments. Incompetent hospital management should be ashamed of themselves. Well, they're right. Oh, I got it. No, we don't have a store. That way we can pass the savings on to you. Hey, Daniel. Oh, hi. So for your dad. Hey, Dad, what are you doing here? Actually, uh, I wanted to talk to Daniel uh, about those infusion pumps. Uh, what about them? Well, it's good news. I went back to the company rep and uh, asked him again about you fixing them, and uh, he's agreed. Really? <laughs> That's awesome. Mm, sometimes it pays to be pushy. <laughs> yeah. So, um, when can I start work? Well, um, why don't you come in tomorrow and I'll have a contract drawn up? Great. Did you hear that, sir? Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. It does mean you'll have to find something else to blog about, though, Sophie. Sorry? Well, your big expose about the waste at Shoreland Street. How did you know that that was me? Well, I've been reading your English assignments for years now, and your writing does have a certain obvious style. But the ins and outs of the hospital equipment supply business? Even I was bored by the end of it. I mean, is that really the best you can do? I've had almost 500 hits. Hmm. And you think that's good? Well, I'm surprised. Anyway, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Sure. Uh, thanks again. OK. See you, Soph. Bye.
Yes, we did that. I got the job. Hooray for you. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. Look, your dad only had a go at you because your blog actually hit the mark. No, you did great. Well, I could take your order now, or I could come and see you. Can I call you back? Hello? Man, I'm getting nowhere here. Join the club. Uh. Short black, thanks. Coming up. Oh, Harry, you peanut butter in my compact. Bit of a handful, is he? I have no idea how you managed with three. Sedatives are good. You gave your children sedatives? No, for me. Look, sometimes the best thing you can do is just get out of the house. Wendy and I used to get the babysitter in and head down to our local once a week. It's great if you're a drinker. Not oh, these other things, like... What about the quiz tonight? Bit of fun. You'd enjoy yourself. A pub quiz. You do realise I'm not exactly a team player. No, it only takes one to get the answers right. Wendy's short a couple of players. I could put you with her. Thanks, but I don't think so. I don't believe this. Now my wallet is gone. Oh, well, that's OK. A night off, Rachel. It can work wonders. Thank you. All right, sign me up. I'll be here. See you later. I can't wait. Later? When? What's she talking about? She is coming to the quiz tonight. She's going to be in your team. Good day. Hey. How's Rocky? All patched up and discharged. So, nobody called the cops? Why would they? As far as we know, he's done nothing wrong. We just met him in the park and brought him back here. Remember? About that thing you said to him. You know more about prison than... He thinks. You're still going on about that. I told you it just popped into my head. Only it sounded true, even to me. All right. If you really want to know. My brother did some time in jail. I had to visit him there. It wasn't pretty. If it's OK with you, I won't go into gory detail. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. It's a bad time. I don't like to be reminded of it. Oh, and with me, like, lock them all up and throw away the key. That didn't help. No. But you have your reasons for thinking like that. Well, whatever. I'll just keep my stupid mouth shut next time. Yeah, it's an excellent foundation. It's very smooth. No, I haven't tried it myself. No, I suppose not. No. Hello? It's a pity your sales pitch isn't as smooth as your foundation. Ha ha, funny man. <laughs> okay, flat meeting. Look, if this is about the um, the grocery shopping, I know that it's my turn. It's about Sophie. She's down on the dumps. Right? Why? Well, she's under up, and she needs to get out. So, I was going to ask her to move in here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! She's my sister. I've done my time with her. Plus, we've got you know Jill and Bella crashing here. The place will be way too crowded. The man's got a point. Three women, one bathroom. You know, it's a two-one vote against. I'm sorry, bro. Well, no, no, hang on, hang on. Sophie's here most of the time already, right? But if she's official, she'll have to pay her share in the rent and the bills, which means less for you guys to fork out. The man has a better point. I vote yes. Ooh, two one in favour. Wow. Yeah, democracy, it's overrated. Go on then. All right, everyone, time to kick off. Here she is. Hi. Hi. I got rounded. Oh, brain food, yay. <laughs> I was running late, but I see we're still missing someone. Yeah, about that. I meant to get a hold of you today and give you a heads up, but things heads got away up. on... Why? Well, who have we got? Callum, are you on Wendy's team? I twisted his arm to join in, and Murray twisted yours, and, well, here we all are. Our team. If you'd all take your seats, please. First question coming up. I'm so glad we're doing this. Oh, and later, I've got a bit of a surprise for you. What kind of a surprise? Uh -uh. You write the answers, OK? Which U.S. city is known as the Big Easy? Agreed. Wouldn't have a clue. It's Los Angeles. Shh. It's Los Angeles. I'm not so sure. Why not? It's not New York. LA then? Uh, I'll put it down. No, no, it's New Orleans. I don't think so. When I was in Jakarta, I met someone from there. We should have got that. 
Sev Blanc, thanks. Make it a large one. How's it looking from where you are? Well, the quiz is a winner. The company... Callum and Rachel. The jilted lover and his ex. Trust you and me to put them together? Well, I thought they looked OK. Well, Callum's trying. He is being so nice to her, but Rachel, cold as ice. You think they'll last the distance? Well, they'll have to. There are gift hampers at stake, and I've got my eye on one. It's a pity Rachel's been so hard on Callum. He's a good bloke. He's been good to us. He has. But there's nothing we can do. Rachel has chosen Chris Warner, and that's an end to it. Right, back to the fray. Looks like a taste test. For the next round, each team has three sources. I want the key ingredients and each source's geographical origin. Get tasting. At our place, it's either barbecue or straight tomato. You'll be good at this. He's a bit of a master chef in the kitchen. Chili, chocolate. It's Morlé Pablano from Mexico. Oh, good work. Chili and chocolate. Ooh, delicious. OK, my turn. Too easy. It's chili and vinegar. It's sriracha from Tane. Sriracha, how do you spell that? Mule poblano, Mexico, chili, chocolate. Told you. <laughs> Here I go. Are you okay? I'm fine. Is that Asian? Mm, definitely coriander. Mm, has to be harissa. North Africa? All I could taste was hot. I'm useless. I don't know anything. I might as well go home. Oh, forever. She's lots more to go, babe. You'll show us up in the next round, I bet. So, with two teams tied for first, we now go to a tiebreaker. It is now sudden death. Golden goal, winner takes all. The pressure is really on now. Get on with it, Mars. <laughs> all, right, all right. The next question has a three-part answer. To win, be the first team to call out all three correct answers. Get anyone wrong and you lose. Here we go. Name three countries starting with the letter D. D. Deutschland. Where's Germany? If you're German, it's Deutschland. How do you spell that? Denmark, Dominican Republic, Djibouti. All correct. We have a winning team. For you two. Mostly. <laughs> Djibouti. Of course. Never even heard of it. Well, anyway, at least we made the tiebreaker. Well, we would have won outright if I hadn't mucked up our first question. Prizes, please. For our winners and reigning champions, courtesy of the IV. Well done, you lot. Charming. And as a special spot prize for correctly answering the very last question. A gift voucher for dinner for two at the IB goes to Callum Mackay. You should bring someone special. Thank you, everyone. And remember that the bar is still open. You are unbelievable. Pardon? But don't try and tell me you had nothing to do with that. This whole evening's probably a jack-up just to get us together. Rachel, that's ridiculous. Yeah, it is. What will it take for you to get the message? I'll be back soon. I feel so dumb. No, you shouldn't. The only reason I know half this stuff is because I wasted so much time bumming around overseas. But was it a waste? I mean, would you do it again? Of course. But we're different people. You've got your life here. Family, money, Daniel. What more can you want? I am so sorry. Murray's heart's in the right place, but he can be clueless sometimes. <laughs> Crafty, eh? Had to go with Rachel. I told you to stay out of it, didn't I? Yeah, I know, but I thought that... No, you didn't, and that's the problem. It's OK. I'd like to give you that back. I know it wasn't actually part of the prize. All right, uh, I'll just... <sighs> what can I say? He did mean well. I know, and, and truly, it's OK. In a funny sort of way, Murray's probably done me a favour. Well, I still don't know how I feel about Rachel, but she made it very clear tonight how she feels about me. <laughs> made me realise that I, I can't stay in this holding pattern any longer. I need to put her behind me and get on with my life. And not just say it, but actually do it. You think you can when you work with her every day? Yeah, I do. 
Finally, I do. Well, good for you. And by the way, there are a lot of women around here who would snap you up given half the chance. I can give you some names if you want. Oh, I don't think so, but <laughs> thanks anyway. And thanks for inviting me along. I'm really glad I came along. Me too. I'll catch you guys at work. See you later. Hey, gorgeous. Hi. Mm. I thought you were supposed to be studying. Oh, any more study and my brain will explode. How'd you go? Second. Oh, that's a pity. You deserved a win after what you did today. I can't stop thinking about how badly things could have turned out if you hadn't been on your game. So, how about I take you back to the flat? We have an early night and I give you a massage. Maybe not. Why? No, Hunter, I don't need to give you a reason to not hang out with you. I know, but... I... I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, Whoa! Sorry. Bye. Everything okay? I thought it was. Um, Jill just walked out on me. Did something happen to her? <laughs> we lost the quiz. Sophie didn't take it too well either. But I'm about to cheer up her world. You should try it. What's that about? We lost the quiz. <laughs> it's about your surprise. So I know how unsettled you've been since you left your job, and it really cuts me out. Now, I want you to be happy, and I think what you need is a change. Wow, that's so spooky. I was just thinking the same thing. I do need a change, a big one. So move in with me, please. Yeah, you know, I've already checked it with the guys, and they're totally cool about it. You know, I thought we could redo my room for now, and then maybe later we could shift that and get our own place. Or whatever you want. Well, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> so what do you say? I appreciate the offer, but I can't. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you know, your dad will be okay now. And we're ready, aren't we? We spend nearly every night together. We won't be soon. That's what I was going to tell you. I, um, I'm leaving Ferndale as soon as possible, and I'm going to go overseas. Well, since when? Where are you going? Lots of places. Because I have to. It's what people do. It's what you did. <laughs> oh, OK, I didn't see that coming. I feel like it's the kind of change I need, you know? I've done all that I can do here, and I need to get away, and today really hit that home to me. <sighs> so where does this leave us? Where does this leave me? This is so hard. I'm no, so, Sophie, let's just, let's talk about this first, okay? I love you. You know that. <laughs> but I can't make a commitment to you. And I can't make you wait for me either. So, I just think it's best if we break up. If you haven't yet heard who killed Lucy Beale, you can relive the moment tonight on EastEnders at 7.25, followed by a brand new live episode at 8. Stay with us now for Doctors.